All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to some more Unturned. I managed to pick up some night vision goggles, as you guys can see in all my videos. It was extremely dark. Night vision goggles really makes a world of difference, like big time for when it comes to recording. Uh, so yeah, so I've also picked up a maple strike. It was actually sitting up here in the tower. Uh, one of the things that I am in desperate need of is water. I just drank the last of my water, so what do we got here? Swift magazines, what do we got here? Some more military night vision goggles. I guess we'll take those. All right, let's go ahead and drop down, shall we? All right, so I do have my katana still, and I've got a handgun just in case we run into anything bad. What is that? That looks like a desert eagle. Hit. Would you look at that? A desert falcon. What have we got here? Civilian night vision goggles. And let's see. Fancy shades. Let's drop that. We're taking up space here. So we have military night vision goggles. I wonder what the difference is between civilian and military. Let me try it and see. Oh, they're green. Wow. All right. All right. I'll take these. I need a backpack like so bad though. It's not even funny. I'm like running out of space like left and right here. We've got a Colt. Oh, let's drop that. Let's take this. Let's take this one. Why not? I wonder what kind of uh, ammunition this thing takes compared to the Colt. If it even takes the uh, the Swift magazines or if it takes something different. Uh, it doesn't matter. Screw it. It's new. It's exciting. And I'm in desperate need of water, though. We'll pop those painkillers as well. All right, night or uh, night time is over. We got a couple of uh, zombers here. We're gonna have to deal with. All right, we got this guy's attention. One shot to the face. All right. Let's see if we can't find ourselves some water. Anything of the sorts? Nope, no water. It's definitely a very good military base. Military bullets. I wonder if the military bullets is what's going to go into that other gun that I've got. Into this maple strike, maybe? I have no clue. Potato chips? Yeah. We might have to get some sort of a magazine for that, that particular type of gun. I, I have water purification tablets if we do find a bottle of water, though. That's if we can find a bottle of water. What is this? Sandbags, dang it. Ooh, wait, 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 what, what is that? Is that a backpack? Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh, that is nice. All right, uh, we're gonna drop the military grade night visions for a second. We're going to take that, and we are going to equip this backpack. Oh, thank God. What does that give us now? Gives us uh, another row and a half of slots. All right, nice. Very, very nice. I'll take it. 
Got ourselves an Alice backpack. Oops. I took my magic my magic cloak off. I was almost unmagical for a second there. I saved it though. I saved it. Army fatigues, huh? Huh. Why not? We'll put those on, and then we'll drop this freaking prison uniform that I stick out like a sore thumb with. Freaking crowbar much. Holy crap. Oh, is that a bottle of water over there? I think it is. Some nails. I've yet to jump into... Oh, that's a blowtorch. I've yet to jump into the crafting still. I really have just no desire to craft in this game. I've seen a lot of streamers that have, uh, you know, built up these big elaborate bases and all this other stuff. And, you know, it's while it's cool, it reminds me a lot of Rust. Um, I'm just not very interested in, in holding up. I like the survival aspects of this type of game where we can just wander around aimlessly. Do I have binoculars? No, but I do now. Oh my god, I hate those crawling ones. Vaccine. A landmine. That could possibly... Military bullets. See, I don't even know if I need these military bullets. Can I turn that cloth into... Um like bandages or anything nothing I was kinda hoping I could maybe craft that cloth into bandages or something and there is a truck eagerly awaiting oh my gosh there's a truck eagerly awaiting us out there what is this a sleeping bag Ooh, I heard those are pretty rare. We can set up a spawn point somewhere now. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put the sleeping bag right up here in this military quarter. In this little lookout tower. That way if I do die... I can spawn right here again. As a just-in-case precaution. Right like that. Ta-da! Claimed! <laughs> Claim that sleeping bag. Okay, that is mine. That is now my sleeping bag. Alright, we desperately need to get some food and water, though. Vaccine. And I wonder if morphine would be good. Yeah, we'll just inject ourselves with morphine. The vaccine should get rid of some of that toxic. Yeah, there we go. Health is going up and our toxicity is going down. Now we can hop in the truck. Cool. Our health is up to 82 and our toxicity is down to zero. Sweet. All right, what do we got here? That one's got 9% fuel. What does this one got? Ooh, this one's got 49%. This must be the one that we came in. Alright, so we're going to come back this way. We're going to stay on this road, though, and we're going to go back to this little barge area, see if we can't gather some food supplies, and then we'll come back to the military base. Because if we can get a couple of generators and some work lights, we can probably just say screw building and just cone off the uh, the military base as our own. Whoa! Oh! 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 That freaking sucked. He pinned me up against the car and got me a few times. We got an ambulance here, too. It's got 5% fuel as a just in case. Can cola. 
We'll go ahead and drink that. That looks to be it in this little house. If we can get a couple of food items, we'll head over to the docks because the docks should have maybe some generators and a work lamp. I hear zombies. There he is. I heard him coming. Ooh, an outfield. And civilian bullets. I'm really kind of curious to see what this gun is. So it takes NATO magazines. Alright. I don't have any NATO magazines. Definitely gonna have to find some NATO magazines for this thing. What does this thing take? Oh, it does take swift. Nice. All right. Would help if I turn the safety off, huh? Wow, that thing sounds pretty nice. Hopefully I didn't aggro too many. I just had to try it out. Moldy cabbage. Moldy corn, moldy milk, some potato chips, moldy potatoes, moldy carrot, and bottled water, which is not needing purified. Sweet. I'll take it. All right, so here's the cafe. The cafe should have some good stuff for us. We got a can of cola. Moldy bottled water, which we can fix really quick here. So here's our moldy bottled water, purification tablets, and got it. Okay, so there's our bottled water. Some more tater... Oh, where's he coming from? I heard him. There's some more moldy water. We need some more purification tablets. There's a kitchen knife. Well, here's this guy. I wonder where the first one went. Here's a botanist. What do we got in here? This is probably where you're going to get all your seeds and stuff, which... Might be useful. I might come back. If we establish the military base as a, like, our home, then maybe I will uh, start worrying about seeds and, and all that other stuff. My main concern right now is deciding if I'm going to fortify <clears throat> that uh, that military base or not. Kitchen knives, canned chili, another cape, and a gun. We'll just munch on this real quick. So here's the docks down here. How much space do I have left? Like two slots left. Binoculars. Military night vision. I'm trying to keep all this stuff because my son eventually is going to come back and play the next episode. Hopefully. So I'm trying to keep some gear for him just in case. That way I can give him some stuff and then we'll both have night vision goggles and all that other fun stuff. Alright, I think I'm going to head back to the military base. And then uh, I want to bring my son with me. That way we can come down here and clear out this camp. Or clear out this city and get all the stuff that we're going to need. So I'm going to scout out the military base as well and see how hard it would be to uh, maybe just get caltrops. Maybe put them all in front of the doors. And get some generators and work lamps and stuff like that. And then we'll just kind of fortify the, work ba or the military base. I think that's a pretty good strategy. I think that's a good strat. 
problem is, is keeping all the zombies out. Since obviously they're going to spawn inside the base. I think that's going to be the only issue. Can I, like, not raise this thing up? No. I thought I could raise that up and drive in here. Yeah, so this place actually is not too bad. If I just get some caltrops and line them up right here. There's really only, what, two entrances into this base? Right? You've got that front one and then you've got this back one. We should be able to lock this place down very easily. Put up some maybe some sandbags or something right here. Get some work lights and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I think we can hold this place down. I don't think that'll be very hard at all. Not bad at all. All right, well... This was a uh, very short episode. I do apologize for that, but I did want to get a couple of things. Ooh, a rucksack. I'll take that for my son as well. Um, I, did, I, I just wanted to get a couple of supplies, whatnot. That way, when my son comes back, we get some more multiplayer action going. And uh, he'll have some supplies set up. That way, when we come back, we can head back to that city in hopes to get uh, some more materials going. And... Um, get him geared up we'll head back clear it out hopefully get some generators some work lamps that way we can post up up here and take this place down secure in the military base hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you guys next time